In this video, we're going to look at cube roots, and we're going to look at how to find the cube root of a number. This is the cube root symbol. The cube root symbol, it's a bit like a square root symbol, but it's got a little superscript 3 in front of it. Okay. Uh, also, you can find it on a calculator. To find the cube root button on a calculator, it is um, usually, in if you get the Casio model, it's in yellow above the square root one. Okay. So, for instance, if you wanted to work out the cube root of a number, you'd press shift, and then the square root button, because above it in, in uh, yellow is the cube root symbol. And you can see the superscript 3 and the square root symbol, or the root symbol. Okay, so for instance, if you wanted to work out the cube root of 8 on your calculator, you'd press the cube root of 8. Normally, I just close my brackets around it and press equals, and you'd get the answer of 2. So what is a cube root? So remember to cube a number, okay? Remember, if you were to do 2 cubed, that would be 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8. So the cube root it, that you do the inverse, so the cube root of 8 would be equal to 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So whenever you cube root a number, you think what number times by itself, and by itself again, will give you the number that you're cube rooting. Like square rooting numbers, where you would know how to square root the square numbers really easily. So for instance, the square root of 64 is 8, because 8 times 8 is 64. Or the square root of 100 is 10, because 10 times 10 is 100. You need to know the cube root of certain numbers really quickly and off by heart. So uh, watch the video on cube numbers to find out what the cube numbers are. But I'm now going to show you how to cube root these cube numbers. So the cube root of 1 is 1, because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. The cube root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. The cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. The cube root of 64 is 4, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. The cube root of 125 is 5, because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. The cube root of 216 is 6, because 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. The cube root of 343 is 7, because 7 times 7 times 7 is 343. And the cube root of 1000 is 10, because 10 times 10 times 10 is 1000. You may want to learn, obviously, the cube numbers in between these if you want to. Um, you know, The more you know, uh, the sharper you'll be at doing them. But that's how you find the cube root of cube numbers. Let's have a look at finding out the cube root of uh, other numbers. And the last example we're going to do is we're going to look at how to find the cube root of a number that isn't a cube number. So we're going to look at how, um, what is the cube root of 200. So you get the cube root of 200, get your calculator, pre uh, select the cube root button. So this one, so you press shift and the square root button to get the cube root symbol. Type in 200 and then close brackets, press equals, and you get your answer. 5.84803547. So we just throw that down. So equals... 5.84803 or equals 5.852 decimal places.